Losing files can be pretty frustrating, especially if you don't have them backed up. Now, you never really know when your system is going to crash or you may lose data, so backing up your system on a daily basis or even a weekly or monthly basis can be very beneficial to you if you do end up losing data. You can always recover that, especially on a Mac because they have this really awesome tool called Time Machine where you can back up everything on a daily basis, which is what I do just in case my system does crash. I can always back it up to a restore point or just kind of go back in time and restore it from that point that I want to do. So the first thing that you're going to need, and this is pretty much the only requirement is an external hard drive now you can get this for a Mac I know mine is a Seagate one terabyte hard drive or external drive you can get this for around fifty dollars on Amazon and they're fairly uh, cheap so before you buy one if you're looking at other options I'll link the one I have in the description but before you kind of go surfing for other ones you want to make sure that it is compatible with Mac I made the mistake of not making sure it was compatible with Mac so when I tried plugging it in and installing it it was not letting me so I had to go take it back and buy one that was compatible with Mac and the one that I have and the one that's in the description um, if you're looking for one is compatible with Mac so you won't have to worry about that so as you guys might be able to see I have mine plugged in right now and it is the Seagate backup plus drive and that's what we're gonna be backing up um, our system to so if you've never used time machine before it's really handy and it's really simple to set up so go to the Apple in the top left hand corner of your screen and go to system preferences and go to time machine on the very bottom now mine is currently backing up but I'm gonna show you guys how to kind of initialize it and make sure that you have it uh, backed up automatically if you click the backup automatically tool once you plug in your drive it's automatically gonna start updating I literally just plugged mine in and it's backing up 114 gigs and that will maybe um, back up seven or eight times before it's completely full and I'll have to get a new one or just kind of delete some backups that I may no longer need time machine keeps it'll tell you a little bit around here hourly backups for the past 24 hours uh, daily backups for the past month and weekly backups for all previous months so this is really handy and you can always click show time machine in uh, bar so or in the menu bar so when you go up here uh, this is a little time machine icon if you click on it you can kind of give an get an update of how close it is to finishing the backup so mine is probably gonna take maybe an hour or two to back up and you can do background tests and this this will go when you're doing anything else so you don't have to really worry about just leaving it there or you can always back it up at night when you're not doing anything so it may go a little bit faster but in order to um, kind of uh, configure this just go to select disk and under the available disk, not the backup disk, go to the available disk and click use disk. So once you click new disk, it's going to wait two minutes until the backup starts so that you can kind of get everything selected and make sure that it's not um, backing up to the wrong one. You can make sure everything's set straight and everything like that. So after this, I'm just going to lock it just in case uh, anybody else gets on my laptop. I don't really want to worry about anything under options just because I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and lock that. And when you click on this, it will show you uh, backing up 115 of whatever. So when you go to the backup drive and you click backups for this particular one, and this is my computer name right here. I know it's kind of weird. So if you click on this, it will show you that is it, in, it is in progress. And when you go to your previous backups, or if you try to go to a backup by going to Finder, Applications, and then clicking on the Time Machine, it will kind of show you a weird screen here and this is how far you can go back in time so I have a backup uh, from October 16th I have all these different kinds of backups that I can go to I can click on it and it will or I can click restore and it will go to the previous backup that I had and you won't have to worry about losing any of your data or anything like that so it's really handy so I'm gonna cancel out of that and if you ever want to restore it from a backup point you can do that by going to the time machine application in your applications tab in your Mac so that's pretty much the basis of it you really don't have to do anything I know that when I did a few beta tests a, a while back and I didn't have a backup I lost so much data I had to restore from an old uh, mountain lion um, download which I had to pay for so having backup spending fifty dollars to get all your data back is very handy and I really recommend that you guys do it just in case you do end up losing some data I know if you are making videos or if you're an app developer or anything like that maybe a photographer you're gonna wanna do this because all of those files you can never get back if your system crashes so having an external or a different method of backing up your data maybe to a Dropbox or a Google Drive or a OneDrive um, is very handy and especially this since you have a physical copy on you and you know that um, even if you might lose an account to a hacker or something you always have a physical copy I think I have around five different Seagate drives with all my different information on it because they do fill up pretty quickly especially if you have a big Mac I think mine is 128 uh, gigs of storage right now or no it's 256 gigs of storage so when it's backing up it's gonna take a lot of data and I know 
that um, especially on this since it's only one terabyte it might be able to do four different downloads of all my data before or four different backups of my data before it gets completely full and I need to buy another one and they're fair, fairly cheap so I don't really have to worry about spending loads of money on them um, but this is just something that I really recommend you guys do uh, especially if you have a Mac because you never really know what's going to happen I had a Mac that kept crashing and crashing turns out it had a bad hard drive and I lost all my data on it so Macs are one of the more reliable systems out there in my opinion but some people might think otherwise so this is just kind of a precaution I advise you guys to take so if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below and that's pretty much it for the backup it's fairly simple and it doesn't take much time at all to back up all your files so I really recommend you guys do it and you guys can game you guys can do whatever else surf the web and it'll keep backing up until it's done so your CPU performance might be a little bit spiked depending on how big the files are and everything like that and how long it's gonna take in my case I haven't really seen a dramatic increase in CPU performance or nor have the fans kicked on so this is something I really recommend you guys doing again and if you guys did enjoy this video please leave me a thumbs up if you have any questions for me in the comments uh, let me know and I'll try to respond to you and thanks for watching guys I will see you in the next one